Hey kids, it's science time with me, Dr. Stanley, the Science Manly. Yay! This week's topic is pizza. Yay! And we have a very special guest with us here today, already on the forefront of pizza science for his discovery about how sauce made of vine-ripened California tomatoes interacts with Wisconsin mozzarella under intense heat. He has now once again changed pizza science for the better. Kids, please join me in welcoming Joe Aurelio of Aurelio's Pizza. Hi, Joe! Joe is here to explain to us how he's furthered his pursuit of scientific pizza perfection through the wonders of Euclidean geometry, Newtonian calculus, and Calabrese biochemistry. Joe, without going over the heads of our viewers too much, please explain to us how you've made this gigantic leap forward for pizza science. I made it bigger. Okay, so let's break that down. Beginning with the infinite decimal of pi in order to calculate the approximate surface area of your standard 14 inch large pizza, that is to say, pi times the radius seven squared, Joe and his team was able to determine that the average large pizza was actually 153.86 square inches large. So how did Joe get more pizza into his pizzas? He increased the diameter to 15 inches, which accounted for an exponential pizza growth of up to 176.6 square inches, or an increase of 22%. Now, using an eight slice configuration for uniform comparison, this actually equates to 2.8425 square inches of pizza per slice, multiplied by eight, actually accumulates an entire supplementary unit of pizza altogether. Okay, it's an extra slice. Really, those pizzas are so big, you get an extra slice. Right, so let's continue to break that down even more. In order for the 22% to get bigger, all of the tasty toppings do too, which multiplies at a constant value over time. So if we accumulate that extra 22% of cheese over the course of a year, roll it into a ball, we actually get a mass that is a fraction of the size of the moon, which means that... Kids, how much pizza do you want? More! When you want a Rilio's pizza. Okay, so for next week's topic, we're gonna discuss garlic bread and about how one man's ingenious decision to increase surface area of per unit. <laughs>